the biggest game in town and it just started. The Cats take on the cards here at home with the winner of the best of three moving on to the College Baseball World Series. Dan Koob is live at Jim Patterson Stadium and Dan, you get all the best assignments, you know that? <laughs> it's true, Erica. I'm very fortunate that I get all these fantastic assignments, including one of the biggest baseball series perhaps in the history of the state of Kentucky. Just an hour ago, fans were piling into Jim Patterson Stadium. We've got red pom poms, we've got blue clad fans, but somehow, some way, between the vitriol of this rivalry, we stumbled upon some of the more civil fans I've ever encountered. I don't know, you just appreciate good baseball and U of L and U of K are both have solid programs right now. I mean, U of L's been here for what five years in a row, and Holy McGowan at UK can get it going too. Even though as a Kentucky fan, we can still get along, enjoy the game together. Just both appreciate that both programs are in a very good state right now, baseball wise. Okay, yeah. I mean, it's like roaches; they show up everywhere. You know, you, you, you deal with it. They, they just they're everywhere. You know, we we could be in like across the country, and that one would show up. What, what do you think the atmosphere is going to be like inside? <laughs> Crazy. I mean, this is this is the biggest baseball series in, in Kentucky, the state of Kentucky history. I mean, this is this is going to be awesome atmosphere. It looks like a lot of blues getting in more than what I thought. <laughs> yeah, obviously more U of L fans are here right now, but there are certainly tons of blue inside Jim Patterson Stadium. Caden McClure for the Cards will get the start in Game One. Game time should just be starting uh, in a couple minutes. For the Cards, if they are able to win this three-game set over the weekend, they will be advancing to the College World Series for the third time in five years. If Kentucky is somehow able to win two games here in Louisville, they would advance to their first College World Series in 121 years of playing baseball in Lexington. We're live outside Jim Patterson Stadium. Dan Koo, WLKY News. Did that